Look around. Everything that you see around you is matter. Matter is something that takes up space. You are matter. Your desk is matter. Even the air you're breathing right now is matter. You can't see it, but it still takes up space. All matter is made of tiny microscopic particles called atoms, but it doesn't always look the same. You can see your desk, but you can't see the air. That's because there are different states of matter. There are three main states of matter: solid, liquid, and gas. To figure out which state matter is in, we look at its properties. Properties are something we can measure that help us describe an object. Some properties that help us figure out state of matter are shape, mass, and volume. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. Volume is how much space the matter takes up. Some matter is in a solid state. Most of the objects you see in your classroom are solids, like your pencil, paper, and even the people around you. Solids are easy to identify. They keep the same shape, mass, and volume. The atoms in a solid object are pressed tightly together and do not move around. A solid can only change shape if it's broken or cut. Liquids are another state of matter. Water, milk, and juice are examples of matter in a liquid state. They keep the same mass and volume, but can change shapes. The atoms are still close together, but they can move around. If you pour milk into a tall, skinny glass, it will be shaped like the glass. If you pour it into a wide, flat bowl, it will change shape. Liquid takes the shape of the container it is in. Gas is the third state of matter. An example of a gas is the air you're breathing right now. Gases keep the same mass, but their shape and volume change. Like liquids, gases take the shape of their container. Unlike liquids, gases spread out to fill the entire container. The atoms in a gas are far apart and can move freely. This changes the volume of the gas. Sometimes matter can change from one state to another. For example, when you think of water, you probably think of it as a liquid. But if you freeze water, it turns into a solid, ice. If you heat it, it turns into water vapor or steam, which is a gas. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. For lesson materials that go along with the video, be sure to check the link in the video description. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.